ladies and gentlemen, Jesse here. Another episode of Leaving Self Quarantine. I am going to Ingalls to get some things that we need. Uh, I'm definitely going to be wearing a mask and gloves by choice. I think uh, since I have that stuff available, I think it would be silly for me not to do it to protect myself. I have heart disease and to protect my family from what I might bring home. So, leaving the house and on the way. All right, ladies and gentlemen, if you could see in Western North Carolina, it is snowing. Look at this, April. Try not to use my windshield wipers as much so uh, you can, not have to hear them, but there we go. It's not an April Fool's joke. <laughs> All right. In light of my adventure into Ingalls, I will don my mask. Let's see here. Yeah, there we go. All right. Now, one thing everybody knows that wears glasses, I just started wearing glasses late last year. They fog up when you breathe. See? I don't know if you can see it. All right, and the gloves. And I will venture in and I will let you know how it goes. All right. See you on the other side, baby. All right, I just got done in the grocery store. Uh, maybe if there was 100 people in there, two people had masks on. Uh, it is what it is. I don't necessarily agree with it. Uh, everybody's got their own situation and their own reasons for doing whatever they do. I just hope that this virus doesn't reach where we live. It's all around us, every county around us. Because in a situa situation like what I saw today, if it reaches us and uh, that many people are in, uh, in enclosed spaces, whether it be the grocery store or anywhere else, uh, God help us all. I just really hope it doesn't come here. I pray for God's hedge of protection over this world. But today I lift, over, lift up this county and this area. Uh, and I pray blessings on every single one of you. And I hope that uh, it doesn't take the virus coming to this county for everybody's eyes to open. Because there might be, a, you know, there might be a chance right now that a lot of people are just kind of like, oh, well, it's over there. Oh, well, it's over there. Or something to that effect. And that's exactly what this virus needs to spread is people thinking like that. So uh, just because it's not here yet <laughs> doesn't mean it can't decimate this county within a week so no matter how you look in public how you feel in public if you wear a mask and gloves don't let that affect your decision to protect yourself and your family and others um, I appreciate every single one of you I appreciate everybody out on the front lines of this I was thinking of the grocery store workers I saw in there and how they're in a situation where they're going to be exposed to a lot of different things and I, I just pray that everybody on the front line, the hospital workers, fire, EMS, police, everybody is just had your protection over them as well. I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, it, it's a trip man because when you're in quarantine, uh, self quarantine or, or something to that effect, I, I really don't watch the news a lot and stuff, so I'm kind of doing my own thing. And then kind of when you come out in the world, I just touched my face, you see that? Uh, when you come out into the world, then it's kind of like culture shock. Where not you didn't know what was going on, but man, you, you think to yourself, what if the virus came here and I watched uh, senior citizens walk in and touch the cards without wiping and stuff like that and I felt so bad for them 
Now, one thing I, I did see, and I'll put, and I'll include it in this video a picture of it. There's a sign in Ingalls that says, I think it's from 7 to 8 a.m. I think that's what the sign said. Senior citizens and anybody with an autoimmune defici deficiency, I think that's the right word, uh, can shop from 7 to 8 a.m. without anybody else. So uh, keep that in mind, and thank Ingalls for doing that. Uh, crazy times we live in, but I have faith in God. I'm a Christian. Uh, so in conclusion, uh, we're in tough times, and and even as a Christian, I, I have total faith in God, but you know, you're still a human. You're going to get nervous here and there, and you're going to wonder about certain things, and that's normal to be human. But that's where faith comes in, and uh, I've relied on my faith all through my life, especially in the last 13 years. And uh, I have no doubt that whatever happens to whoever or whatever, we're all going to make it through this, and and God's going to carry us through this. And I have total faith in Him. It's a blessing to be able to have a store I can go to to get the stuff I need. So. Uh, God bless every single one of you, and I hope you have a great day.